and it gets in the filters of the kidneys and glongs them up. I mean, just imagine what sticky sugar would, would do in your blood. So what the body does is when there's a spike in sugar like that, it just says, i got to get the sugar down. I have to, to clear it out to avoid all the damage that it's going to cause. So one of the main things that it's going to do is the liver will take the extra sugar and convert it into fat. And not just any kind of fat, the long-chain, sticky, saturated fat, the exact kind we're trying to avoid. So biking the sugar not only causes damage, but will cause the liver to create fat and cholesterol. A lot of people don't see this connection. They feel that if they avoid fat, that they'll, they won't get that because doesn't fat just make you fat? And they don't see the sugar connection. They don't see that their body will produce the kind of fat that they're trying to avoid when they avoid. like their sugar. So the, just buying low-fat, no-fat items, that's not the answer? No, no, because typically those foods are high glycemic, will spike the blood sugar, and you'll create your own fat. Typically they're processed foods, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> that just brings me back to Jack LaLanne. You know, one of his favorite quips was, if man made it, don't eat it. I think that's just great. Because that's when people come up yeah. to me, they're like, I don't eat any fat, I don't eat any foods with cholesterol, but I'm overweight, my cholesterol is high. And then you find out they're sugar addicts. So they don't see this connection. And when you watch Sweet Fire, it's, it's really obvious the connection here.